Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your apps right here on your iPad. And it doesn't really matter if you guys have an iPhone, iPad, or Touch, it's all the same, same instructions. Anyways, let's just go right into your App Store. In your App Store, you're going to see your top right hand corner, there's a circle, it might be an image, letter, whatever you guys picked for your Apple ID, it's going to be up there. So we're just going to tap up there, and then we're going to see this. So just scroll down, and we're going to see update all. So right now, at this point, we can update all our apps. If you don't see a specific update for an app right here, don't worry about it. For example, let's just hit on done for now. And let's look for example, Google Earth. Let's say we want to update that one. So right here we can see Google Earth and we can see that it says update. So right near manually, I can go ahead and hit update. I can do that with any app. So if I know there's an app, I don't want to scroll through there and look for it, I can do this. So let's just go back into where I was before. So I'm gonna tap up there, then I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna see these apps. So I can hit update on each one, or I can hit update all of them, okay? So right now what we have here is Google My Business, Google Plus, we have Microsoft Remote Desktop, we have Google Calendar, we have this other social singing app, which I haven't used actually yet. Anyways, we have Video Shop, iHeartRadio, Google Drive, Jump Desktop, Microsoft Authenticator, we have Captive, Photoshop, WordPress, Periscope, Twitch, Geo, Skype for iPad, Adobe Capture, Google Docs, BLC, iTunes, Acrobat, Flash Foods, I still haven't used that either, TikTok, I have used it pretty nice, but not as good as YouTube, Google Slides, Yosi, Google Sheets, Google Voice, Keynote, Numbers, Pages, Dropbox, Adobe Fill, which is great by the way. And here's KGG, Google Maps, The New York Times, Adobe Photoshop, Wagjack, Nest, Google Chrome, Groupon, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe XD, Wish, Adobe Creative, Flickr, Ted, eBay, Amazon, Firefox, Tubi TV, which is okay-ish. Facebook, obviously, again, we can't pause any of these updates. So if you want one of these and not all of them, we can just pause any one of them and then restart the update later on. If let's say we just want to update one of them, just like I showed you before. We have GoPro, Adobe Spark Video, Roblox, Adobe Spark Post, Indeed, Flip, Facebook Page Manager, Kindle, Microsoft OneDrive, Booking.com, the gift search engine, you know, Snapchat obviously, that's still loading, that's because we hit on update all, so it's gonna take some time. Anyways, Adobe Premiere Rush for video, we have Microsoft Outlook, Spotify, LinkedIn, Mitmoji, Yelp, Pinterest, Twitter, BK, Airbnb, Bumble, Square, Reddit, Tumblr, Instagram, OK, and Messenger. So right now you guys see this circle spinning. That just means it's looking, looking for that update. It's just loading, loading, loading until it comes and starts loading that update. So if we scroll up, 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 we will see one by one updating. So until this circle becomes complete, just like Google Earth is almost done, then it's just gonna say open and we would be done our update. How long will this take? Well, if you just do one at a, app at a time, it's only gonna take a few seconds for each one. However, if you do them all and you have a ton like right here, then it might take a couple minutes. I would never say hours because the updates are usually really small and the apps themselves are small for themselves. In my case, I'm updating 84 of them. So that means that once they're updated, as you guys saw, it's just gonna show you update. It's gonna go automatically to open and then it should disappear out of here, just like what you saw right now. So that little glitch that happens, not really a glitch, that it goes back to update. It's just reloading the app and that's why we see update, open, and then it goes away. It goes away because it's being updated so it no longer needs to be inside this list. Anyways, just want to mention that if you guys are having problems downloading any apps, uh, maybe you guys have an older iPad, older iPhone, iPad Pro Touch, then I have a video that's separate for that that shows you how to download apps that require a higher iOS 
or OS without you guys having to update your iPad OS or your iPhone or iPod Touch. So if you guys have an older device, you guys can still download social media or YouTube, Netflix, for example, and make it work. But that's a separate video. It's right here on my channel, so make sure to check that out if you're watching that this video for that exact same reason. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.